Hello, and welcome to this video, uh, Lesson 16 on Unity 3D C Sharp. Uh, this is on creating a monster class. Now, if you will recall uh, what we did last time with our monster is that we had something like this. And we said to ourselves, okay, this is one way we keep track of uh, monster data and have it do something, print out the race and print out its name and its health and what have you. And we said, however, if we had a bunch of monsters and we had to do this for every monster that we had, this would be a tremendous amount of programming and it'd be sort of a dumb way of doing it. And then we thought, well, maybe we'll do it this way where we'll put it into a function and then have a function parameter list and do it that way. But now we have to do this for each and every monster. And it's going to be hard to change these, these variables in here, uh, which maybe need to change by the player or maybe needs to be changed by the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to make what's called a class. We're going to make a monster class. This is the class right here. This is the code for the class. And you say, OK. That's cool, Adamson, but what is a class? A class is nothing more than a blueprint. It's a blueprint as to how you do something. Just like, just like an architectural drawing is a blueprint for a building. The, the architectural drawing is not the building. It's the blueprint for it from which you can make objects called buildings. So this, this is not any particular monster, this is a blueprint for all the monsters that we're going to create. So here's the syntax for it. First of all, I make it public because I want to use it. And I say I want to define a class. Now this it, right here, this is nothing more than, than the identifier for that class. It, it follows the rules of any legitimate variable identifier. You know, it can't start with a number, it can start with an underscore, or letter of the alphabet, can't be reserved word. You remember all that stuff. Okay, now, these are the variables that we were talking about. I made them all public so we can access them. In object-oriented programming, the variables are called properties. A property is something you can measure, okay? Like, for example, you know, the age, you can measure that. The name, you can measure that. The race, you can measure that. The health, you can measure that. I can go on and on and on and on. So in object-oriented programming, the variables are called properties. Now, here I have a function. And this function is going to do nothing but serve as a blueprint for how I want stuff printed out about uh, the, the monster. Okay, And in object-oriented programming, functions that do something are called methods. A method does something. Okay, here, the method isn't defining uh, what the value of anything is. It's actually printing out stuff. So in, in, a, in a class definition, a class is a blueprint for making, from which I'm going to make objects. In a class uh, definition, I have two major groups. I have the properties, which are nothing more than the variables. And I have the methods, which are nothing more than something that's going to happen. I don't assign, I, I don't have to assign any values to these yet until I create an object from it. So this is my class definition, which is the blueprint. Now, what I've done is I've, in object-oriented program talk, I've encapsulated all this stuff together. I've taken all of the, all of the variables and I've related them to uh, the methods. So I've encapsulated the, the two of them together in this class called a monster. And by using the term a monster, a monster will now become like a new data type. And what I've done is I've, I've abstracted all of the details of this monster, of what a monster is going to be. I don't have to go through and code all this stuff anymore. I've made one blueprint. That's it. From this blueprint, I can make a gazillion, billion, trillion monsters. So if I test this to see if it does anything, I can guarantee you it doesn't do anything because it's just a blueprint. Like, for example, here I go in my main camera. I come down here, and I see, okay, there it is. There's my monster script. 
I'll go ahead and run it, and lo and behold, nothing happens. Why? Because it's simply a blueprint. Okay, that's how we make a class in uh, C plus, uh, C sharp. I'm sorry, we're not using C plus plus in C sharp. That's how we do a class. Now, there's other things I could do with this, but for right now, this is the most basic way of getting started with object-oriented programming. Okay, in the next video, I'll show you. Now that we have defined, we've made our blueprint, we've defined the class, I'll show you now how we can use it, how we can use it to create objects that we're going to call monsters and, and use that in our game. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching.